Welcome into the Border Battle Podcast, Jordan King, Chris Notch. We are in the Triple Play Sports Radio Studios. Normally I say the production studios when I'm doing a podcast, but we are literally in the radio studio right now. So uh, we're doing that. Tom Dorado's uh, spinning, the, spinning the hits right now from the 70s on uh, Stillwater Jukebox. And uh, really enjoy Stillwater Jukebox and unfortunately can't listen because we're doing the podcast right now, but that's all right. I know you said you, you called in. What, what song did you call in? I just wanted some Bee Gees. From the seventies, I was gonna say, man, the Bee Gees would be a good one to do, but yep, you yep. already beat me to it. You betcha, man. I'm I'm on top of the Stillwater jukebox. I hold him to a high standard. That's why I started promoting him more now. Got to hold him to a high <laughs> standard. You know, I think, you know, you never want to see performance slip, and sometimes that, you know, I'm not saying Tom's is, but you always got to fight that temptation. Yeah. Also, side note, we we did uh, go on Twitter. We did get a tweet yeah. that we should do Eskimo Joe's. Uh, we just figured it'd be a little late for a location uh, Too late to kind of yeah. let them know. Uh, but that is definitely something we will we will work with them to uh, see if there's a way we can do that for for next week for sure. So uh, thank you, uh, Kelvin Al- Alexander. Yeah. Uh, so uh, Chris will load that. Chris will load up. What's coming up? We have 25 minutes of NBA All Star Weekend talk. I don't know if you care. Any of you care about NBA All Star Weekend? I know it's not my like biggest thing, but it's the biggest thing on the docket this weekend. And uh, Chris and I have a tradition here on Border Battle that we started last year. And I guess now it's a tradition. It really wasn't a tradition if you only do it once. Yeah, so now that it's the second tradition. now it's the second time, you can call it a tradition, that we pick the lineups and then we adjust for 48-minute uh, games. And uh, the reason is because I drafted Jimmy Butler last year. And for no reason, Jimmy Butler just didn't play yeah, in the All-Star game. So, sat out. so I, lo- I lost to Chris – in like the raw score, but once you adjusted it for everyone playing the same amount of time, which is or like th- whatever it would be, yeah, like two hundred minutes or what? Yeah, it was it was something weird that like once you actually took him out and like added in, like yeah. Once you adjusted, because my my team had played like fifty minutes less than Chris. Yeah, that's how it ended up working out. So you adjusted it, and then I beat Chris. So uh, I'm one and zero. Chris is zero and one. That uh, so Chris put 15 minutes. We're gonna do the draft. Then we'll talk uh, in the second 10 minute segment a little bit about uh, uh, the All Star Weekend and what we've seen so far. And then uh, final five minutes, maybe hit some Oklahoma State stuff. We'll see uh, when we get to that. So Chris, if you would, uh, let's get it rolling, and then we'll they will hear the uh, buzzer, which I'll play right now. And then uh, they'll hear it. So we're rolling. I'm going to flip the coin. Coin flipped. Heads. You call heads. It is heads. Do you want – so here's here's the other thing. I probably should have said this before I flipped it. <laughs> but so is it snake? Is it you get the first pick for the starters, but I get the first pick for the reserves? How do you want to do this? Um, let's do uh, I get first pick for starters. You can have first dibs on reserves. So – all starters, it goes you, me, you, me, you, me, and then it's me, you, me, you, me, you, yeah. all the way through the reserves. Fair? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you want Giannis or LeBron? LeBron. You have to, yeah. I'm you, going LeBron. You want LeBron. Okay, so I get Giannis, and uh, I think I just got the best player uh, second overall. So I get Giannis. You got LeBron. So uh, your next starter my next starter is a man by the name of uh, Let's go, Kevin Durant. Ah, boy. I hate to do this because I'm not a fan of his, but I think I have to for this for this reason that I need scoring, and that's James Harden. So I'm gonna go James Harden. I don't like the pick, but I'm gonna make the pick. See, and this is where like it's weird because I'm trying to think like. You you think when you're drafting this that you think defensive? Yeah. But but we're going off of we're going off our of roster scores, correct? Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Um. Man. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna go a little crazy. Part of it is I, I'm trying to figure out who the other starters are. To be honest, because I. Um, so the guys left on the board are Kawhi Leonard, Joel Embiid, Paul George, Kyrie Irving, Kemba Walker, and Steph Curry. I'm going Steph Curry. Who right. you, who'd you, who was your second pick again? Harden. James Harden. And now I'm going to go Paul George because I think Paul George is having a career year, and I think he's going to continue it in the All-Star game. So give me uh, Paul George to add to James Harden and Giannis. 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 Uh, so now Co- I'm going to take Kyrie. Kyrie. Okay. Yep. So let's see here. I think Joel Embiid. Uh, oh God. I'll take Kawhi. 
I you you know as much as I as you know as much as I do. I do not like Kawhi Leonard, but I'll take him with my fifth pick here. To me, it's more of what with this is is he actually going to like yeah like do anything? I don't know. Um, he's not a good player. I just don't like him. I'm sorry. No, I I don't blame you. You like, know, it's just I, I'm sorry. Wait, you don't think he's a good player? I I don't think he's. I mean, okay, so like maybe I shouldn't say it that way. I just don't think he's. I don't know. Um. Last, I'm I'm gonna go Walker. Kemba, so you left me with uh, Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid. I thought I was gonna have to take Embiid before. I like my starting lineup. Look, I go here. Here's my lineup: Kawhi, Paul George at the two, James Harden at the three, Giannis at the four, and then Joel Embiid at the five. I like that. I like that lineup a lot. See, and I'd have to do Curry, Curry at the point, Irving as a. Oh, you got that problem at the point guard, man. I don't know what you're gonna do there. Actually, no. Let's very yet. guard heavy. But see, that's okay because LeBron will be the four, Durant's the five. It's it's more You're going of, small. You can't match up with me. You cannot match not, up. Not not with me. the forward position. But yeah, okay. So now you get to start with reserves, correct? That is correct. That is correct. So uh, let me uh, pull up the reserve list here, and uh, it's kind of interesting because I don't know the status of Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis, I think, would be kind of a Kind of a slam dunk, if you will. But I'm going to take Russ Westbrook because I think he is uh, arguably the best player. So I'll take Russ Westbrook. Um, best player of the reserves, I think Russ is. So I'll take Russ. Uh, honestly, I, 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 I think you're right on um, on that one. See, this is the hardest thing, too, is because now you get into the All-Stars and you're like, okay, who's actually going to going to do something? Mm-hmm. Um Honestly, I'm 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 probably uh, I'm gonna go with what's his name. Let's go, Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson. I'm gonna take Anthony Davis right here. I'll tell you my reasoning after we're done, but I'm gonna take him because I think the upside, if he plays, I think he's too good. So I'm gonna take Anthony Davis. Um, and, and we can do this later on. Do we want to do uh in case? Uh, Davis doesn't play. That I also pick someone that would basically like they wash him out. Mm-mm. No, okay. Nope. That's part of my strategy in taking him. Okay, that's fine. Uh, next up, I'm gonna go with. Uh, I'm just looking for scores. I'm gonna go with Damian Lill- Lillard. Dame. So you're going Lillard. Um, and let's see. You took Clay Thompson, correct? Correct. All right. Um. Man alive, this is tough. This is tough. Um, I guess I'll go Blake Griffin because I think he has enough star power that he'll uh, he'll be able to get enough shots up. I don't like the pick, but I'll take him. Uh, I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go Bradley Beal. All right, that's a good choice. I like Bradley Beal a lot. I'm trying to think, of you said, who? You, oh, Griffin. Also, uh, I'm not sure if you know this or not, but uh, D'Angelo Russell is in for Oladipo. Yeah. Okay. Yep, I, I, didn't, I didn't know if you'd seen that in the – Oladipo was... probably would have been my first pick if he well, was – Well, I was going to say, I was like, oh, I may should go out. And then I saw it. I was like, oh, yeah. that's right. He's still yeah. out. Yeah. So so we're talking Kyle Lowry, Chris Middleton, Russell, Simmons, Towns, Vucevic. Is that how you say that? Vucevic? Yep. That's how much you know I'm not going to take that guy. Uh, and then, the, and, then the, and then the two guys at the bottom that no one should touch. But uh, we'll get to that in a second. Um, I'm going to take Ben Simmons here. Changing the game. Love him a lot, Ben Simmons. Um, man, this is – like now Now I feel like we're really getting into like, okay, who's going to um, – I'm, I'm going to go Jokic. Wow. Carl Anthony Towns still on it, so I'm gonna take Cat from out from under you, man. You can't let Cat slide down to the tenth slot. Well, I was, I was like, to... I was gonna be. <laughs> See, I'm, and I'm not, I'm not gonna be that. Per- I wasn't gonna be like, oh, I'll do like the, the uh, hometown discount. I'll give you Chris Mill. You know, like I'm gonna pick him now, but no. Um, still got Lamarcus out there. I'm not a fan of Lamarcus. I don't think he's gonna do anything. 
Uh, uh, this is where things get tough because I'm trying to like gauge where you're going to go next. Mm-hmm. So is Aldridge is the only one besides Wade on that on on the one side, correct? It, the, the guys remaining: Lamarcus Aldridge, Kyle Lowry, Chris Middleton, Russell Vucevic, and Nowitzki and Wade. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go D'Angelo Russell. D'Angelo Russell. I'm gonna take Chris Middleton here. Um, he has the chance to, if he gets enough shots up, just explode for a ton of points. I don't think he's gonna be on the floor a ton. Don't get me wrong. I don't think he's gonna be on the floor, but he's got some chances. Um, I'm I'm gonna go Lowry. All right, this is where I'll take Lamarcus Aldridge. That is an absolute steal. I would imagine you're going to go Vucevic or Vucevic, whatever. Vucevic? Yes. And the last two are Dirk Nowitzki or Dwayne Wade. Well, of course, there's only – Dwayne Wade, if he offers anything – or if either of these guys offer anything, it's going to be Dwayne Wade. I don't think I don't think Dirk's going to do much of anything. So give me Dwayne Wade. Honestly, I, I actually don't even think Dirk's really going to play. I think he'll play like they'll let him score basically a bucket and then he'll be like, okay, I'm done. I, I really don't see Dirk lasting all that long. So here's my lineup. Giannis, James Harden, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, Joel Embiid, Russ Westbrook, Anthony Davis, Blake Griffin, Ben Simmons, Carl Anthony Towns, Chris Middleton, LaMarcus Aldridge, and Dwayne Wade. Um, I, like that, I like that roster a lot. We'll get to yours in a second. You want to know why I drafted Anthony Davis? I kind of hope he doesn't play. Because if he doesn't play, I'm going to get my – when we adjust for minutes, my starter's minutes are going to go up. That's why I drafted him. But that might also work the same same advantage for you well, with Dirk Nowitzki. But are, isn't it more of a thing of that, like, you, you're going off of total points, are we not? Yeah. But you got to adjust for minutes at the end, like we did last year. Oh. So if he doesn't play, like, even if he scores zero points but doesn't play, I'm going to get a, I'm going to get a boost from the other guys. I, I get what you makes saying. sense. Yeah. Yep. I uh, I get you. So there you go. What's your what is your team? Let's remind everyone. Yeah. So my team is LeBron, Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, Kyrie Irving, and Kemba Walker. My my starting five reserves are Clay Thompson, Dam- Damian Lillard, Bradley Beal, Nikola Jokic, uh, D'Angelo Russell, Kyle Lowry, Nikola Vucevic, and uh, Dirk. The smirk, Nowinski. Has anyone ever called him that? Yes. There's literally zero people until you. So there you go. We're about 10 minutes in, and we can now uh, analyze our rosters, Chris. I feel like I next think week better... people are going to listen to this and say, holy crap, he took Kemba Walker over Joel Embiid? That's what I said. Yeah. No, see, I, I'm, like, really, like, torn with it, to be honest. Like, because it's it's even like in a game like Clay Thompson, who knows if he's really going to shoot that much? It's just yeah. like Kawhi Leonard. Like they're phenomenal in season, but for this, are they really going to be like, no, nah, whatever? Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's where like you, you got to have star power, and that's part of the reason I took like the guy. That's part of the reason I take Blake Griffin, Ben Simmons, Russ. Those guys are going to have plenty of star power. They're going to be able to carry their own weight, kind of demand some shots and stuff. So, all right. So we're we're doing this draft. We have not looked at the NBA All Star Game, but it is going on while we're recording this. So do you want to take a peek and see kind of where our teams are at right now, or kind of yeah. how it's going on? Yeah, yeah. And I was going to say too. Yeah, for those wondering, like you said, uh, I think we started a little about twenty to eight. So of course the the All Star Game started at uh, seven o'clock, I do believe, um, and uh, and so yeah, it's a. Uh, it's one of those things we are not there. Don't even tell me. I'm waiting for my my app is currently loading. Team Giannis, let's go. What if it was one of those things where we did the coin flip, and uh, um, you had to basically you got your choice of either LeBron's team or Giannis's team. I would have taken Team Giannis. I who do you, overall though like out of those two, do you think Giannis's team is is like better or kind of like? Mm? I do. Chris, oh man, this could be a long night for you, man. Did Davis play? Uh, Davis, uh, let's see, Davis. Yeah, uh, zero minutes. Yeah, not yet. So I would imagine he's so probably, he probably just entered. Yeah, he just entered the game. Look at this. 
Giannis was eight. Giannis with sixteen and Chris Middleton with nine. Go Bucks, go. Harden's got zero. Irving's got two. LeBron only has two. So I have Kawhi. Yeah, he's got eight. Harden has nothing. So I have Kawhi with eight. Kimba's got two. Curry's got nothing. Giannis with sixteen. So that's twenty four. Plus three from Paul George, twenty seven. Embiid with four, thirty one. And then nine. Nine from Middleton. And that equals 40. So I have 40 points. And I got 18. <laughs> Is that right? For you? 40 to 18. It should be 40 to 20, I believe. Unless I missed a, a couple points. Two, four. Because you got 10, 12, 14. Six, I only got 18. Oh, LaMarcus Aldridge just scored. He's getting in on the act. So I'm actually up to 42. 42 to 18. Yeah, I just have like no because Curry, <laughs> Curry's got no points. 42 to 18. What's our time limit, Chris? I, we got to be getting close. Oh, here. yeah. Um, yeah, we got, th- we got about a minute and a half. minute and a half. 42 to four, 18. It's a route right now. Uh-oh. Three more points for someone on Team Giannis. Chris Middleton, three ball. Book it. <laughs> <laughs> how how crazy is this be? We just like forty five annihilated. Forty five. We aren't even we aren't even through the first quarter. I've outscored Team Giannis. We'll do this too. Last year we compared how we did to Team Giannis and Team LeBron, and uh, you and I did a lot better, I think. Than well, the, I I know I have it somewhere. Before I wrote the, it down. B- before the adjustment, your team was better than both, or all th- all, all three. three. Yep. After the adjustment, I was better than all three. You're right. You because you were the worst. I was the worst. And then we swapped. And then, then with the yes. adjustment, I was the worst. With the, yeah, yeah. So and again, I don't know how the adjustment's going to go here because uh, I have Carl Anthony Towns, Simmons, and Wade. None of them have played yet. And then I also have, um, that's it. So I mean, I have a couple players who haven't played yet. You have a couple of players who haven't played yet, so it'll be interesting to see how the minute situation works out, um, and th- and if that ends up being kind of the same thing or not. Team Giannis, I, guess I should have picked up Giannis. Team Giannis uh, doing doing work right now. So Jokic just scored a quick four points for you, though. Good job, Chris. Yeah, I. How close are we? Anthony Davis scored. We got about uh, five seconds. All right. Well, five, four, three, two, one. Two, one. There's the buzzer, and uh, Chris, it's not good for you. So let's uh, let's look up the NBA weekend. Uh, your boy Jason Tatum. We'll get this get this rolling. Your boy Jason Tatum. Uh, what a shot! I'm not gonna lie. He uh, he was the only guy to go. Uh, I think it was three of three from deep. Each one he each one was a uh, a come from behind. Yeah. And honestly, he actually got lucky because uh, on that last shot against uh, Trey Young, Trey Young's shot was going in. Mm-hmm. He released at just the right time where it actually pushed Trey Young's out and his banked off and went in. Yeah. No, I saw like, it. It was it was crazy. It was just like, man. And he, he was like, if you talk about skill and the measurement of skill, that was not a measurement of skill. It was a measurement of luck for Jason Tatum. Mm, right. he, he, missed, he missed that easy pass three times. In all three, I think in all no. three rounds. It was just that one time he did. No, no he, he never did. He yeah, never he missed, missed all the, three. He missed the pass. I guess he missed it twice then. Because you come down the floor, you dribble, yep. and then you pass. He missed the pass two out of three rounds. A, no, I think it was just once. Two out of at least two out of three. I don't see. I don't remember. I'd have to like actually rewatch because I watched it last night. I just don't remember. I'm pretty sure he did, but for sure, for sure, one because he he missed it against. Uh, Trey Young. That's why Trey had such a big lead. Yeah. Well, it, it was like when uh, who was who did Tatum go up against? Jokic, I think it was. Yeah. And uh, Jokic basically went to dunk it, mm-hmm. and they're like, "Why would you do that?" Tatum was like, then got like right on his heels. Yeah. Part of my issue, though, I love I love that you get big men involved. I don't think it's fair though to have them going against like wings and stuff. Absolutely, it is. It's the best all around skill player. That's what they're looking for. Yeah, but that can be anyone. I, honestly, I don't think Vucevic shoots threes. Well, but wasn't it Jokic though? Well, Jokic beat Vucevic though. Oh, those two, those two were the only big guys. Yeah, well, well, but like Jokic is like a triple double machine. Well, right, when no, he's, like when he's I'm working. okay with Jokic, so to speak. It's more of like, yeah, I, I don't know, I don't know, know about that. Vucevic that or because or you had you had Dantich, you had 
you know, Young. I forget. There's two others that are missing, or there's three others, give or take. Um, I just, to me, I think they should have. Oh, uh, Mike Conley was uh, up against Tatum in the first round, but it was it was it was to me it was one of those things where I would have almost preferred to see like half and half, like like let one side of the bracket let four big guys and then. Um, you know, whether it's a mixture of power forward centers and then, you know, or, you know, small forward through centers. But and you then... don't have enough. I don't think you have enough big men to do that, though. But see, like, Towns did it last year, year before. Yeah. Wait, I... And, and I don't know how they go about choosing who does it either. Well, part of it, you have to accept the invitation if you do do it. So... Right, but I'm just saying, like, okay, how do they go, okay, you know, we want him. Like, obviously you wanted – Trey Young, you want Jason Tatum because they're young. Luca because of the popularity, the up and comingness. Well, and Kuzma, again, Kuzma was another. You're never going to get old guys to do this. Same thing with the besides dunk. Conley. Same thing with the dunk contest. Yeah, do you hear they they Hawks fans were trying to get Vince Carter to do it one last time. Yeah, it'd be stupid for him. It would, but honestly, I would I would have loved to see just like what they're doing with Dirk and Wade. Like Dirk went and did the three point contest. Yeah, but like if Dirk. That's a little bit different. I mean, Vince Carter, the athleticism. Right, it's not there anymore. Exactly. So, I mean, why would you go out there when you know the standard that you've set for yourself is like being the greatest dunker on the planet? Yeah. And why would you do, go this late in your career? And it's been 13 years since he did it. Yeah, so. I, w- I, I didn't think. I mean, they probably deserve someone better than Joe Harris to win the three-point contest because that's, that's not going to get you off your seat. I, I, I was wanting um, – uh, Curry, and I know like people don't really care for him. Like, I was hoping for a like a Steph and Seth Curry final with you know someone else in it, but instead it was uh, um, Buddy Heald was the third one with Joe Harris and Curry. And, and Curry, if, if he could hit the last five money balls, he would have uh, he'd have gotten it. But you know, it, Dirk davinsky has got six points. Just want to put that in there. Dirk has six. Dirk has six. That's ridiculous. Jokic has six. Griffin's got four, though. Chris, it doesn't matter, man. It's going to be okay. Thompson's got 15 now. At the end of the first, Giannis has <laughs> 16. I mean, yeah. I think I'm going to be all right. I think I'm. You, you'll be fine. I mean, Russ Westbrook, his plus minus is two. He's 0 for 4. <laughs> what is he doing? What are you doing, Russ? Oh, yeah, Davis has five. Help me out Good here, point. Russ. Golly. James Harden, nothing? Why did I take you second overall? <laughs> it's your problem, man. It's your problem. Kawhi has eight. I'll take that. Let's just talk about our captains. He has two, yours has two minus 16. We're talking about the greatest player uh, playing the game right now in Giannis Antetokounmpo. I, he should be the MVP. I've, uh, I went from 18 to, to 38 points now. I'm getting there. I'm 38. slowly getting what is there. The, so that means I have 52. 52 to 38. Yeah. Right. 52 to 38. We just, that was a bad scoring run for our team. And uh, I'm, I took a timeout uh, with about a minute left in that first quarter. Got a couple <laughs> Anthony Davis buckets and <laughs> unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. So uh, we're, uh, we got about four wow. minutes left. Let's talk uh, about this dunk. Okay, go ahead. The, the one thing besides the dunk contest, then we can get into it. Uh, I wanted to talk real quick about, um, I, I don't know if you watched it, but. Del Curry came and they kind of raised awareness for his charity. Uh, so what they did is they had Dell and, and then Steph and Seth were there with, I forget who it was for ESPN, but like, Oh, you know, do you want to kind of show us what you got? Cause he's the Charlotte Hornets all time leading three point shooter. And so he had some of his teammates come out and they Dell shot from two spots. And then he had three other guys that came and, and uh, shot as well from like respective spots, his teammates. Part of his teammates. So there was uh, Mark Price, who is, I think, a top three for the Hornets. Glenn Rice. And it's not, like, small Glenn Rice. They made a comment. They're like, man, it looks like uh, Glenn Rice has been eating pretty well since he's retired. Uh, and Ray Allen. Okay? And then so his sons had to donate I $1, didn't know Ray Allen played with Del Curry. I didn't think he did, but I was like, hmm. I, I don't know. Or he – he had him. I don't know, but uh, um, or he just had him yeah, show yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so they had to donate a thousand each or whatever. They all together, all of them shooting. They only made eight three pointers. 
Eight thousand bucks. And then ESPN was like, "We'll put the thirty-five for you. We'll donate the rest." So they they did thirty-five thousand total, but ESPN did the. When you're talking about Steph and Seth Curry, I think they can spare like thirty-five million. Oh yeah, to donate. So well, especially Steph. Yeah, I mean, come on. So. But anyways, yes, get into the dunk contest. Yeah, dunk contest. Hamadou Diallo from Oklahoma City wins it. It's kind of incredible. Did you see the dunk over Shaq? Over Shaq. Did you like it? I did. I some people was great. complain. Some people complaining that he put his hand on his shoulder. Grow up. No. If you want to complain, Dennis Smith used his hands to vault over Dwayne Wade. Yeah. And Dwayne Wade's a lot smaller than Shaq. This is the same thing as when when Blake Griffin jumps over a car. Well, he jumped over the hood. I don't give a living sh- you know what. I don't give a crap. He jumped over a freaking car. The only thing I didn't like, and, and the announcers were kind of talking about it too, is Dennis S- Smith Jr., like, Two, I think two of his dunks. He he took him like three or three to five tries, and like the one over Wade, I think it was, Wade or one of the other ones he did. It took him three tries, and they gave him a fifty on it. Well, yeah, they hand out fifty like it's like right, but they're like, okay, this needs to change. Like you should get docked for the amount of times it takes you to actually like do well, the yeah. dunk. It should be how it was on NBA Live two thousand six. Yeah, if you miss a dunk, you're gonna get severely penalized. Did you watch it all? Uh, a little competition they did at least on Friday is they they did a uh, NBA Blacktop Two on a, I don't know if it's Xbox One but they basically it, it was kind of like a NBA Jam if you ever heard of that game yep uh, and they had guys going against against each other and Shaq and Baron Davis were like the color commentator guys on it oh really yeah quite uh co- quite interesting to be honest very good to be honest yeah. Hey, Russ, Russ is on the board, baby. PG's got nine points. You're in trouble, Chris. That's all I'm saying, man. You're in trouble. You're probably right, but you know what? It's a long game still. You are in trouble. But uh, uh, With about 30 seconds left, do you do you think ratings are going to be about the same as they were last year, higher or lower? I don't really care. No. Oh, but just... probably lower. No one cares about the NBA. I'd have to do some research. Do you... I wonder if uh, if the winning team really gets anything this year like they did last year. Because I know, I I know no they're idea. trying to figure out a way to make it more competitive so people are like, it's not such a joke. Yeah, you're never going to find a way to do it. No. I, the fact of the matter is people don't care about All-Star games. People don't care about Pro Bowls no. because it's a joke. There's <laughs> the horn. Um, it's, it, it's a joke. That's why people don't care about it anymore. So until you find a way, Dirk just did another three. The dude's three for three from three. Who the hell is Dirk Nowitzki? I don't even know who that is. We yeah. have five minutes left to talk uh, here. We'll end the uh, the NBA draft or draft the NBA All Star talk right there. Um, head over to OKState.com and uh, check out some of the bigger headlines this weekend. Probably the biggest was uh, well, baseball won their opening series. I guess that's pretty big. Um, Texas able to knock off Oklahoma State. That is now the l- second longest streak or. The longest losing streak in one season for conference play. for conference play. They had a longer losing streak, but it spanned two seasons earlier. Uh, it was since uh, 2016. Yeah, I forget. I think they so, said, or it was 2006, somewhere in there. So, so that's obviously not good for them. The highlight was on the road over in uh, Missouri, and uh, top five undefeated team for the Cowboy Wrestling and the the Cowboy Wrestling. Uh, the Cowboys take care of Missouri and uh, t- took the comeback. I mean, they needed all the heavyweights to win. Jacoby Smith wins. Preston Weigel wins. And then Derek White gets the uh, – he needed overtime. The decisive. To uh, – I mean, if – you got to – I mean, I don't, he won, so you got to you know, be pleased with that. But he's the number two wrestler, and that was an unranked wrestler he was facing. And he gets taken to overtime, and if he would have lost that, they would have lost the duel. So – uh, I guess it's all for not they they get the win and you kind of forget about it. Uh, also, being the, you, um, if people haven't heard, uh, this will obviously be coming out t- uh, tomorrow Monday. Uh, but it has been announced that the Cowboys baseball home opener on Tuesday is canceled. Mm-hmm. It is actually moved uh, to Wednesday now at four o five, where it will be canceled again. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. Because there's a I'm, I guess a strong inclement weather. I, I, this is the risk you take scheduling games like this in February. 
I mean, it's just yeah. the way it is. So, and I understand the reasoning behind it. You want to get as many games in as at LEP as you can. I understand that, but just this is the risk you take. Yeah, I just, I, yeah, I don't know. Uh, also, shout out to uh, Nick Piccinini, uh, who, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I think, oh, I guess he wasn't right. I was thinking the guy he was facing, uh, the Dak uh, Punky, maybe. I think is his last name. Uh, I was thinking he was ranked, but he is not. It's it's Iowa who has the, I think he's the number two wrestler, uh, for the 125 class. Well, let me look up the rankings really quick. What's our time situation, Chris? Our time situation. Good question. Uh, we're at uh, a minute 15 to go. All right, I will look this up quickly. 2:15. Sorry. Um. So well, yeah, we'll have two minutes here, but. So this is Intermant rankings uh, at 125. Spencer Lee from Iowa is the number two number ranked two, okay. wrestler for Nick Piccinini coming up here. And then uh, a sophomore Sebastian Rivera from Northwestern, actually a a ranked wrestler. Um, funniest thing, too, I was looking up some stats with Nick. Uh, he He's only faced, I think it's two ranked wrestlers this whole season. When he faces uh, number two in Iowa, or sorry, when when he faces them coming up here, that'll be I think it's his third. It'll be his third ranked wrestling match of the season, which is crazy. And then you look at date uh, Dalton or date Dayton. fix, and he's went through the gauntlet. Yeah, and he's got another one coming up. Austin DeSanto uh, he's from number, Iowa is number three. Number well, and no, uh, I hope he is he. He's number three because on here Inter- Dayton's number three. Well, Dayton's number two according to Intermat. So it depends where you take the rankings. So good point. Um, the like like baseball and softball, you have like eight eighteen different publications. So yeah, um, and everyone claims they're the one. <laughs> right. So here on Intermat, this is where I'm taking it. Dayton's number two. Austin DeSanto is number three from Iowa, and Austin DeSanto is the biggest. I don't want to say any words to make fun of him, but the, the dude is kind of a head case. And I've seen some videos, and he's tried to – he's like a, he's like one of the dirtiest wrestlers you'll ever see. He's, try, he's tried to put, break people's arm – tried to break the Minnesota's kid arm at the end of his match. I mean, literally tried to rip it out of the socket. So I hope Dayton Fix pummels him, um, but I'm, I'm sorry. I just <laughs> hope he does because that's pretty I, – I don't know. And then Caden Gefeller, it is Gefeller, so – Coach, it is, yeah. Coach Coach John Smith was saying G Feller this whole time, and it's apparently Gefeller. So we here we are, a season I said, in. I used to call him Gefeller, and then yeah. I was like, no, it's G Feller. Yeah. So <laughs> we're down to eight seconds, but that was the uh, that was the news coming out this week. It's Gefeller, which I think G Feller is kind of a cooler way to say it. Yeah. But uh, there's the horn, and Chris. It's been a great time again this Sunday evening. Did a good job uh, getting through everything, and uh, best of luck to you. But it's kind of a lost cause for your All Star team. You know, that's all right. You you do what you can. I do believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I think uh, next week at this time we should know uh, if if Oklahoma State has gone through the regular season undefeated this year for wrestling. Yeah, yep. And I hope to uh, I hope to be out there next Sunday. Um, hope to be out there and taking in the, uh, the duel against Iowa, and uh, it should be a good one, should be a competitive one for sure. So uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see if they can do it. I'm sure they can. I mean – they're uh they are quite the quite the team and and trying to gain some momentum here going into postseason play because again um always looking up at Penn State probably Iowa, Ohio State a little bit Iowa is going to be a tough test if you escape if you beat Iowa you're gonna feel pretty good heading into postseason yeah so you're right looking forward to that next week we'll definitely talk about that talk about how I beat Chris in this All Star game. And uh, all that and more next Sunday night on the Border Battle Podcast for Chris Notch and Jordan King. Border Battle Podcast on the Triple Play Sports Podcast Network.